Hey guys, I look a hot mess right now, but that is because if you read my like community post, I just shared that after I was done working yesterday, I was taking the red eye back to Boston, a red eye transcon, um, to hang out with my family for three or four days because I have five days off. And this is basically going to be like our Thanksgiving miss because you guys know I'm on reserve and I'm a new hire and so therefore I have like the worst schedules known to man for flying and so obviously I do not have holidays off. So this is my quick PSA that if you are traveling in the holidays, please be nice and kind and generous to your crews because you do not know what their schedules are, when the last time they were able to see their family or anything like that. So just please be nice because we work holidays so that you guys can travel and be with your loved ones. So just PSA. Anyways. So I'm a zombie. I got in. Let's see. So I've been up since 7 a.m. Pacific time yesterday. And then because I worked and then I took the red eye. I didn't even leave the airport. I just went straight, changed my clothes, got on my next flight. and <laughs> We took off and then got into Boston at like 5.15 in the morning. We got in so early. We were supposed to get in at 5.45 and that was Eastern time. So I've just been up for over 24 hours. Life's, life's crazy. But so right now I'm in my bedroom at my parents' house. I've been taking naps on and off all day um, since I got back. I took first a three hour nap and then woke up, played with Cooper for a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see Cooper. And then another two hour nap. And then now my sister's just getting off work and she's gonna come over. We're gonna exchange presents and hang out. And yeah, just kind of spend like our own early December holiday together. It's gonna be really good. I want you guys to see Cooper. So you'll probably see clips of him, us exchanging gifts, maybe family dinner. Cause my grandma is she stayed she was going to go back to she lives in myrtle beach she was gonna go back to myrtle beach once thanksgiving was over but i convinced her to stay so i could see her um these couple days so she stayed which was awesome and um yeah we might just do like a little family dinner play with cooper exchange presents we'll just see where the week takes us it's just gonna be a week in my life when i'm home for the holidays and not flying so we'll see what i get up to what are you doing what are you doing, itchy boy? What are you doing, itchy boy? You so cute. You crazy. Why are you being so crazy? This is my dog, Cooper, and I love him. He's so crazy. <laughs> oh, he's got his ball. Cooper's got a ball. We just finished playing. I sit in the chair and look who joins me. <laughs> like, he has to be, he's such a lover. I know. He has to be on you. And he's like, and? Your point? <laughs> he's so cute. Three miles, three miles in the other direction. <laughs> and nobody coming! And he would. Oh, oh God, that was pissing me off, and then I got stuck behind the bus. And then, what else happened? I'm going in Compton, and then there's. It just took so long! Now <laughs> My sister came to visit, I and she rushed. <laughs> Rant over. <laughs> Shit, it's okay. Massachusetts driving is so much fun. Oh, so she long. got the pig frosted sprinkled. I don't love the chunky sprinkles, but that's, that's all. Fine. That's fine. It's fine. Do we look like twins? Here. No. She can be on. Not me. I, my hair is. You're not in it. Well, look at this. This is flat. I know. Uh, girl, this is red eye 7 a.m. yesterday oh, hair. You got me all worked up. No, no, no. Video. We, we have the same. Fine, Skin tone. Are we twins? Let us know. <laughs> Mom, what did we learn? <laughs> Chance hands. Chance hands. Well, she's not doing anything. Maybe this is the warm up. Maybe this is just the warm up. We're trying to find a good YouTube channel for my grandmother to do her chair aerobics to stay fit and healthy. That's not from like 1972. <laughs> on youtube so we're trying to find her 
a good channel that she can search when she goes home to do her exercises and stay healthy. So if anyone has, uh, what is, mom, what's the series called? Be Fit? Sit and, sit and be fit if anyone has a sit and be fit like senior chair aerobics um channel recommendation for your aging loved ones let me know in the comments mama wrapping around the christmas presents the girls the girls the girls <laughs> one present done how many to go I already did all the other ones. I, you, oh, this was it? Two, I just wrapped like 10. <laughs> Look at the mess. <laughs> well, I'm glad I helped with one. <laughs> all right, Mama. What are we cooking? We are cooking onion, asparagus, and chicken shrimp for us and shrimp for you because we cater to your vegetarian needs. Notice um, we use a separate spoon when all we mix because... I know we are vegetarians, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So, my parents know that I call myself vegetarian, but I do eat seafood. So, technically pescatarian. I just... The label sounds super pretentious to me. So, I just fall under the umbrella of vegetarian, even though I know that's not technically correct. I do eat seafood. Oh, and with a bunch of jasmine. Of course. Well. Instant rice, because duh. So I will be having this amazing shrimp and asparagus tonight, and they will be having shrimp, asparagus, chicken. Thank you, Mama. You're very welcome. What's that last part, Mom? Like and subscribe. <laughs> See? Thanks. <laughs> it's actually very funny because for the longest time, it's been an ongoing family debate. Like, I can't cook for you. We don't know what to make for you. So it's funny when my family tries. <laughs> it's very nice. We ain't fancy over here, but we try. We try. We ain't fancy, but we try. No. <laughs> I Scoopy, what's this? What's this, Cooper? <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, I can't because of this part. That's okay. This is this is what I need, though. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. Yes, as long as you start getting hot water, tell your landlord, <laughs> get a new water heater. Please, thanks. <laughs> What'd you get? Give it a shake. Cooper. Good boy. What'd you get? What did you get? Is that a snowman? Is that a snowman? Show everybody what you got. Show everybody. Oh, you got a new toy. my toy. Plop. All right, well, he'll be busy for the next couple yeah. hours. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what are you cool. doing, crazy boy? There's something in there that he likes. What are you doing? Good morning, Sky people. Um, it is 10 a.m. and I could not sleep last night, so I slept mostly this morning. I can't remember. I think the last time, last thing I filmed last night was like us opening presents. That was super fun. Um, I'm eating some breakfast right now, having some cottage cheese with strawberry and uh, some cr giant croissants that my family picked up. And anyways, I'll take you around today because I have errands to run, things to ship back to Seattle, and yeah, we're just going to see where the day takes us today. Everybody say good morning to Cooper. One of his favorite spots to lay down is right by his food. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Say good morning. He doesn't talk much, but <laughs> he's such a good boy. Okay, guys, so I'm back in my room, and we have to keep Cooper in a cone because he scratched the side of his face over here on this side. And pro tip for dog owners whose dogs do not like the um, hard plastic cones, these flexible fabric soft cones, much better alternative. Cooper does not mind when we wrap this one on him anymore he's so sad looking but anyways i want to show you guys um what i have to do today i have to ship some extra furniture and since we did an early uh christmas present exchange i also have to send christmas presents to seattle so i'm gonna have a bunch of random things to bring to seattle 
So in here is just like all the goodies from Christmas and I think I honestly might just keep them in this and see if I can put this whole thing in a box so it's self-contained. And then let's see, I also have, I have like pillows, trash can, I have random things I need to ship. So we are gonna head out to the store and do that. Okay, we. it is now 12 o'clock. We are finally in the car and ready to go. First stop is coffee. I have my Umi with me. Hi, Umi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> um, so we love coffee. We are coffee gals. So we're going to go get coffee on the way to FedEx to drop off furniture. I have to talk to them, though, because I haven't done this before. So I got to figure out exactly what I'm doing. Oh, there's the mailman. And then we had to stop the grocery store for my mama and then stop at the bank for Umi. And then I think that was it. I think that was all the stops we had planned. So we are en route and I will catch you guys when we're there. Okay, first stop for coffee is complete. I decided to get something different. Um, it's called Christmas tree chiller and it's more like of an energy drink style drink from this local roastery that I'm obsessed with. It's called Bria Coffee, B-R-I-L-L-A. Um, it's throughout central Massachusetts. So if you're ever around, look up Bria Coffee. It's so, so, so good. My grandmother got just a hot coffee with a shot of hazelnut. And you guys, these, these guys, their coffee is so fresh, so good. I'm obsessed with them. Um, but today I wanted something a little sweeter, so I got the energy drink. And then, yeah, Umi is in the bank right now, and then we are off to FedEx. Okay, so my Umi and I got back from running our errands, and we went to FedEx first, but even with my discount, it's they still quoted me, like shipping from Massachusetts all the way across the country would still be like 215-ish dollars, depending on the final weight of everything that I'm shipping. And um, that's just like a lot. And I was like, do I even need to ship that much stuff? So I don't know. Then I tried UPS and we had to get groceries, brought those back, um, tried UPS. And I think I'm gonna go with them. They quoted me like a little over a hundred bucks. And I'm like, okay, that sounds more accurate to me. And I usually ship with them anyways. So right now I'm just getting the box ready and then I'm gonna try and finesse everything in one box that might be heavy and have one box follow me over to Washington. So I'm slowly getting through everything on the to-do list for today. Shipping is uh, the biggest headache of my life right now. <laughs> now that I'm out of breath, um, I just finished packing up like this was our Christmas wrapping station. I was able to get most of my stuff in this like 20 by 20 box. And she is thick and heavy, so that's gonna be kind of expensive, but I still think it'll be slightly cheaper than uh, than FedEx, but we'll see. Anyways, I was just not able to get my shoe rack because it was too tall for the box. And then this last pillow, I wasn't able to fit either. So I'll go back to UPS tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna finish wrapping some, uh, I have a couple Christmas presents for another family member. And I think that's it for the day. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and I just dropped off my uh, box that I packaged up at the end of the last clip and shipped that off to Washington. So we're doing big things here. Um, I'm in the car now. My mom wants me to make a Dunkin' run and bring some stuff back from Duncan to the house for breakfast. But um, then uh, Steph, my sister, um, her and I are gonna go get brunch um, in Newton. So she wants to take me to this donut villa that it looks really, really, really cute. I've never been there. And so I'm gonna go home and get ready. And um, I stopped at Walgreens on the way and I picked up some really fun, if I can find it here, oh my gosh. Um, some really fun lip colors. So I'm gonna do my makeup and maybe do something a little fun. I never wear fun colors. So um, we're gonna try that out. And I will catch you guys with Steph. We are debating if Jack Harlow is cute or ugly. <laughs> he used to be cuter. He has his moments. You know, he's a real personality. I love his crush. personality. He's great. He's a he's, G. 
I'll listen to all his music. Yeah, but the mullet's gotta go. So Steph, um... And his halftime performance during Thanksgiving was... Needed some work. Was he not good live? He was okay, but like, all the props that he was using looked like they were made by children. <laughs> and they were just... Not it. Not it. So we were talking about our Spotify wrapped. And, like, this is, you know, a hot topic of debate because everyone wants to know, like, what where your music taste is from. And mine and some of my friends, we list, we've we been listening to, like, autumn indie stuff. So it said, my Spotify rap said, my music taste is in, like, Vermont, like, Burlington, Vermont. And I was like, I'm from New England. I'll take it. Like, whatever. Um, Steph, <laughs> Steph, where's, where's your Spotify rap say your music's from? <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> you listen to a lot of African beats, right? Afro beats. Afro beats. Rap was my number Rap. Mm -hmm. Second was Afro beats. Pop. Don't ask me how that makes <laughs> And then some other spin-offs of Afro beats, I think, but that I'm not familiar with, but it must be in the music I listen to. Food for thought. Welcome to Newton. Excuse me, Newtonville. Donut Villa. Donut Villa in Newton. How cute! Just go in. <laughs> oh, thank you. And then the place out for us. It's a random what Wednesday? <gasps> Wait, look behind you. Look behind you. <gasps> <laughs> This is so good. So flavorful. Steph got donut French toast and it looks so, so good. This is amazing. I got vegan scramble, home fries, toast, vegan sausage, and pancakes. And it is so freaking good. So good. This is so cool. Choose your craving. Fried chicken bubble tea. This is so Show cool. Up there. I know. It's so good. So cute. Union Pharmacy here. You can work there. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. Dogish. I love these houses. These ones are great. Yeah. See? Any cute ones? Yeah, but it's got charm. <laughs> and that's what matters. And free couches. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute! I love... Somebody behind me See, this is why I love coming home. So maybe someone does have to stay here. Because I love... Thanks to look at. Say hi, vlog. <laughs> Good morning guys, um, today is Friday, December 7th or 8th, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm back in Seattle now, I'm eating some breakfast, I made some eggs. Um, does anyone else like barbecue sauce on their eggs? Like, I was out of ketchup and I wanted something on my eggs. Anyways, random things about me, I, ha I really like weird combinations of eggs and sauces, um, but anyways, uh, we are going to the Nutcracker Ballet later today, so um, I'm running some, well, once I finish breakfast, I'm doing laundry right now, and then I have to go to the grocery store because I'm completely out of all food in my apartment, and I'm good for a three-day trip, so I need to make sure I have food just in case I get called to work, and then, yeah, then we're going to get ready. We're going to go return some library bur bu burks, library books, and then we're going to get ready to go to the Nutcracker tonight. I wanted to pop on and give a quick side tangent. I just finished reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. Oh my gosh. I have nearly cried so many times reading this book. It is so beautiful and sad and hopeful all at the same time. And if you are a fellow gamer, if you have ever enjoyed playing games 
or you know a gamer in your life, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Um, such a beautiful story and how uh, just playing games is so intimate with someone and how it sparks joy and oh my gosh, such a good book. I could go on and on. But anyways, if you're a gamer like myself, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin is a fantastic read. Okay, you guys, so I know I look totally different, like face done, outfit, dress, the whole works. I got dolled up. Um, so I'm going to the Nutcracker Ballet. I don't know how much I talk about ballet on this channel, but I've recently discovered a personal joy with ballet and I like back when I was home I've gone to the Nutcracker with a friend I've gone to Swan Lake with a friend and now that I'm in Seattle I want to see what the Pacific Northwest Ballet is all about so I got two tickets to go see the Nutcracker long story short though I'm going solo tonight and that is a-okay no hard feelings about it my date canceled it's a long story and I don't talk about my dating life on here and I prefer to keep that stuff private. So the point being, if someone cancels on you, that's okay, let them, let them live their life, but don't cancel on yourself, okay? If you wanna go to see the Nutcracker, go see the Nutcracker, live your life, dress up, be cute. It's the holidays, it happens once a year. Be dramatic, be yourself, love yourself, and also have cute hair because why not, life's too short. So. I will not be able to film any bits of the show. I just, that's usually just a rule at ballets in general, but I'll try to get a couple shots of the theater. My seats, I hope they're good. I've never been to this theater before, so I'm not sure if my seats are good or not, but I ordered these tickets like way in advance, like around, like right before Thanksgiving. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And we're gonna go see the Nutcracker Ballet. You guys, yes, I have my driving glasses on. But I am running so late. I am 15 minutes late to the show. I left an hour and a half early, that traffic in Seattle. I thought there would have been no traffic going into the city, but apparently there's, I think a hockey, one of the Kraken hockey games going on and something else going on in the city. And so, oh my God, like the traffic's crazy. So I just parked, I'm on the sky bridge. Hopefully they let me in. I don't know if they will. So I'm literally 15 minutes late in heels, so. Wish me luck that we get into the show and don't miss too much. Okay guys, I am looking a hot mess express right now. <laughs> but anyways, I just got home from the ballet. It literally only took me 30 minutes to come home, 29 minutes to be exact. And I'm already changed and in my pajamas, ready to knock out. And I'm not kidding you, it took me over an hour and a half. In total, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get from where I live to like downtown Seattle. It was ridiculous. There was so much traffic. I only missed a little portion of the beginning act in the beginning scene and thankfully i have seen the nutcracker before so like i know the story so i don't think i missed too much but i did miss like 15 minutes worth of ballet <laughs> but the show must go on so anyways i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here i hope you enjoyed spending thanksgive a christmas thanksgive miss whatever you want to call it my my holiday week with my family and i hope you enjoyed some of these moments with me and the Nutcracker. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.